Welcome back. You still have plenty of time to enjoy the flavors of summer. Best Baker in America Judge Jason Smith is serving up his yummy ice cream delight that's sweet and salty with a crunchy twist. Honey, as we say goodbye to summer, you know, you got to send it off in style, honey. So as I say, ice cream makes everything better. So I have brought to you today an ice cream delight, honey. Now, most people look at me funny when we say the ice cream is in the dessert because they think ice cream is a dessert. Well, honey, we're going to add some stuff to it that's going to make you wish that you knew about this recipe years ago, honey. So, all right, so I have already got my crust in here, and that is just pretzels and butter. Honey, that right there is enough anytime to start with pretzels and butter. You know it's going to be good. All right, so we're going to add some half and half into our mixing bowl, and we're going to add some vanilla, as my grandmother used to call it, vanilla. And then we have here, we just have instant chocolate pudding. Now, honey, this is two small boxes, or you can use one big box. Now, if you don't like chocolate, honey, don't let that deter you, honey. Pick out whatever flavor you like. My mother loves it made with coconut, honey. Listen, her eyes roll back in her head, and she just sits there and slaps on that dessert, honey. When I make it out of coconut, you'd think she had seen baby Jesus. I'm telling you what, it's good. <laughs> so you just mix that pudding up until it's nice and thick, and then you're going to stir in a half of a gallon a half of a gallon now of vanilla ice cream. Oh, Lord, say it ain't so, honey. Well, it is. Let me tell you, there ain't nothing better than ice cream on a hot day as you're saying goodbye to the summertime. Now, this ice cream is room temperature. You just want it to set and get soft a little bit because if not, honey, you're going to have to call at your husband or somebody in the house that's got big arms, honey, to come in and mix that up. <laughs> now, it takes just a few minutes to mix it up, but it'll come all together. If you want it to be marbled, then you don't totally mix in the pudding. But now you can make this, like I said, with any flavor, honey. I love pistachio. I love lemon. Honey, you can just make it French vanilla if you want to. You could make it with the coconut like with the butterscotch. Oh, honey, I'm telling you. And you can add more stuff to the topping if you want to. I can't wait for y'all to see what we're going to put on top. All right. So once you get your ice cream, see how I want mine a little marble. So I'm going like to leave a little bit of that vanilla mm -hmm. ice cream up in there. And you just pour that right over your pretzels. Make sure you get it all out of the bowl. Or you can leave a little bit in there, and then that gives you a little treat to eat, you know, <laughs> while it's chilling in the, in the refrigerator. You know, there ain't nothing wrong with licking the bowl. Honey, you done it as a child, so why not do it as an adult? I'm telling you what. So you just smear all that out, and you spread it right over them, them pretzels, and that pretzels will give us the crunch that we're looking for. They don't get soggy, honey. They don't get soggy, I'm telling you what. Now, if you can't find no pretzels, honey, you know what else you could make this with, Jennifer? Give me a big guess. What else could you uh, make with other than pretzels? How about graham crackers? Graham crackers would be good. How about buttery, rich, round crackers? Oh, I like now, that. That is really good. Yeah. Yes. Because we want that salty, that salty aspect in here, and that's what you get of that. But the graham crackers would be good, and then it'd be kind of like s'mores. All right. So now you're going to put on one container. If you're busy now, I'm going to tell you a lot of people say, don't use Cool Whip. <laughs> Honey, I love me some good old Cool Whip because sometimes I'm too busy to make my own whoop cream. But now today I've made you some fresh whoop cream because oh, they wow. nothing better than fresh whoop cream. But you could use the Cool Whip, you know, out of the store, out of that little carton in the freezer you get. It's really <laughs> good to spoon it on with some peanut butter and just eat it straight out of the cotton, honey. All right, so you just smooth that around and make it real pretty now because, you know, we eat with our eyes first. And you want this to be the prettiest thing, you could take this to a a picnic, honey, you know, and just ask your host to leave it in the refrigerator until you're ready to have dessert, you know. And then uh, people, honey, they'll be screaming, where'd you get that recipe? And you say, Lord, I got from Lord, honey, himself, honey. <laughs> so I've saved a few of those pretzels, and I'm just going to sprinkle them on the top. And then you're going to wrap this up and put it in the refrigerator and let it set, honey, for about two hours, you know, so the flavors can marry together. And then when it comes out of the refrigerator, it looks like that, honey. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, I could just eat the whole thing. But, honey, we're not going to stop there. 
we're going to take some caramel oh, yes. sauce. That's right, honey. Some good old caramel <laughs> sauce and just drizzle that right over the top. So this is almost like a chocolate covered pretzel caramel situation that I guarantee your tongue will not be able to set still when you eat this. Now look at this, Jennifer. You know that that dip that we take out there is the best part. I get us a big old piece of that. Yeah, let me see that. Ooh, Lord, honey, child, look at that. Look at that. All that caramel and uh, that chocolate and those pretzels. Oh, oh, I wish you could smell it, honey. We need to make smell a vision. I'm I know. You. Listen, your, your children will go slap dab crazy over this one. Oh, it's creamy. Mmm. 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 Creamy, crunchy, chocolatey, caramely. Ooh, and that ice cream, honey. Oh, Lord, it's so good. <laughs> now, I'm telling you what, Jennifer, for this dessert right here, honey, if you make this, you may want to hide in a dark room and eat it first and then make another <laughs> one for everybody else. So, I'm telling you what, that's good, honey. That is really, that's slapping your mama good. It's good. I'm telling you what. But I guarantee you, you're going to love this for the end of the summer, honey. If you make this, this will make your summer all better, honey, and look forward to fall, honey. Oh, we could make this in a pumpkin spice. There you go. There's an idea. And I, li and I like the sweet and the salty combo. I, I feel like mm. that just always yes. makes desserts even better. Oh, yes, honey. And that butter, oh, Lord, <laughs> honey, you can put your little bourbon whipped cream on this. Oh, uh, mm, girl, say it ain't so. I'm telling you what, it's the good. <laughs> But right. you can get this recipe, honey, on my website at southerncountryblend.com. Now, all the other recipes are there, too. And be on the lookout now. We talked about a cookbook coming out, and this dessert recipe may be in that cookbook. So you all get all jazzed up for it, honey. I know it. I know your cookbook is about desserts, and you can't tell us a lot because it's top secret. But anything about the inspiration for it, obviously, you're going to have your favorite recipes in there. So my inspiration for this dessert cookbook is taking my good rooted Kentucky roots and showing you past years of desserts and making them new again and things that you may have never heard of, but an easy way to do them. And honey, I'm telling you what, it'll be more exciting, honey, than a donkey riding down the road on a bicycle with sunglasses on. <laughs> 